What's going on? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in this video, we want to discuss, we're going to discuss, whether we want to or not, apparently, uh, getting serious with your kettlebell training. And what do I mean by that? Well, we are actually going to discuss level four kettlebell training. Now, if you don't, want, if you don't know or don't recall what level four kettlebell training is, I'm going to pop up a, a little image here on the screen. Okay, this is the five level kettlebell training pyramid, all right? And we're going to discuss double kettlebell training today, all right? So why? Why would we want to do this, okay? Well, first of all, let's just back up and say you're not going to want to do this until you've gone up the previous three levels, okay? So you want to make sure you've got level one down, level two down, and you've actually spent some time building up your work capacity and your stamina with the level three programming, okay? So I have written, oh, golly, man, probably, what is this? I don't want to say what year this is because I've been writing about this a long time, close to 15 years now, about the benefits of double kettlebell training. In fact, it's kind of what I'm known for. Uh, my first book, Kettlebell Muscle, was actually published in 2010, written in 2009, and it was about building muscle with nothing but a pair of kettlebells, right? So I've been writing about this stuff for quite a while. And uh, if I had to boil, boil down all the emails, all the articles, and all the videos I've ever done about double kettlebell training and the reasons for doing it, it would come down to just two words. And those two words are faster results. I'll explain why that's true in just a minute. But first, however, we have to cover the big caveat here. Now, there's an assumption that we're making about you being able to use double kettlebells, right? And that is, well, actually, that's not true. It's not an assumption. It's multiple assumptions, okay? So the first assumption is that you're physically healthy, right? That kind of goes without saying, but it needs to be said anyway, because if you're over a certain age, like maybe over 40, maybe even over 30, depends on how banged up you are, uh, you could have some ongoing issues, right? Especially if you're a, a jujitsu player, right? You could have a bum shoulder, right? A bad back, trick knee, or something like that, right? So I recommend if you're going to do double kettlebell work, that you have no asymmetries, like one shoulder that you can put over your head and the other that doesn't quite get there, right? So we're, we're talking about something where, you know, you can do this and it's it's not out here. I'm not sure you can see that. Maybe if I turn, from, turn to the side, right? You want to be able to make sure that, as an example, both your shoulders, both your arms can go over here and one's not out in front like this, okay? As an example. Now, why is that important? Because unlike single kettlebell work that has multiple degrees of freedom, double kettlebell training locks you into one plane of motion, right? And if you have any asymmetries, your body's going to look for a way out. And you could end up injuring your shoulder in this case, or even worse, your lower back. All right. An example, if we had to use an example, would be uh, your ability to lean sideways in a single kettlebell press, right? Like you'll see a lot of guys when they press, they get this side lean. It, it looks somewhere between a strict press and maybe we're, we're starting to get into a, a side press here. Okay. You can't do that with a pair of kettlebells, right? You can't, you can't do this. Okay. You're going to jack something up shoulder, lower back, both. Okay. Now, if you want to do that and you want to ignore my advice as somebody who's been injured multiple times, lifting weights, but never, never kettlebells, uh, be my guest, right? Just don't come running to me when you broke your leg as my mama used to say. All right. So that's the first assumption we have to make okay, that you're healthy. Second assumption is, you know, your way around the kettlebell and you're familiar with the single kettlebell exercises. Again, Make sure you've done level one, level two, and level three before you get here. Why? Because the double kettlebell work is built off a single kettlebell foundation, right? You learn the kettlebell techniques with a single kettlebell first because there's more margin of error in the double kettlebell techniques, especially when we're dealing with power, okay? Uh, or power exercises like the swing, clean, and the snatch. So. Uh, well, what if I have an athletic background, right? Like what if I was in track and field or in high school or college, or I've done some powerlifting or, 
even weightlifting. Uh, well, that's a good question. And I would say the caveat is you still, or before I tell you what the caveat is, you, you still need to spend some time there. The only caveat would be is if you're a high level professional athlete, okay, or you've got a, a big, broad background in Olympic lifting, like, like yours truly, all right? And, okay. And again, that's because kettlebell training, single kettlebell training and double kettlebell training are skills and they need to be learned just like regular weight training. Uh, <laughs> but you know, most people don't let that little known fact bother them. All right. Now, remember modern kettlebell training is built off the swing, which teaches you how to use your hips and load your posterior chain. Okay. We've covered this in previous videos. Posterior chain is, are, is the muscle, the groups of muscles, right? That run from the base of your skull down to the bottom of your toes. All right. Down the backside of your body. Okay. And they're responsible for, I don't know, little things like running, jumping, sprinting, uh, lifting heavy objects, exploding, right? That sort of thing. So failing to learn this skill is a guaranteed way to expose your lower back to injury. Okay. Uh, failing to learn the skill or the skills with a single kettlebell and then using a pair of kettlebells is a great way to guarantee injury. Okay. Sooner and to a greater degree. So if you want to speed up that process, again, be my guest. Okay. Now, here is the third caveat, right? Or uh, what do we call it? The third assumption. Okay. The third assumption is, and I mentioned this briefly earlier, is that you are already skilled with the Olympic lifts. And again, this is actually a huge shortcut, right? This was my secret to success with kettlebell training um, because using a pair of 24 kilos, which is a, a whopping 106 pounds, is... Uh, you know, forgive, forgive the expression, it's child's play when you're used to having 300, close to 400 pounds going up over your head, right? So I mentioned this uh, in one of my earlier videos about why I went to get certified as an instructor. But once I got the single kettlebell techniques down, primarily being able to wedge myself on the two-hand swing and avoiding the flop on the back of the wrists with the clean and the snatch and the banging on the shoulders, man, there's no stopping me. I was, I was off to the races. So I already knew how to move my body and I already knew how to move weights around my body and I already knew how to move my body around weights. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, the other exception uh, or the assumption is, or caveat, however you want to, however you want to say this, right. Is if you're currently a professional athlete who's familiar with the Olympic lifts. So a great case in point in 2008, I think Pavel and I flew down to Florida and we worked on a project and we were working with a uh, NFL uh, for my friends in Europe and Australia, the National Football League, and it's not football you kick with your foot. It's American football. Uh, yeah, don't ask me why we call it football when you run the ball and, and throw the ball. Yeah. So, again, but he was 240 pounds, right? And he was in phenomenal shape. So, and he knew the Olympic lifts. So, it took us, man, I think less than an hour to teach him the double kettlebell drills. Okay? So... You know, piece of cake for him. And if that's you, it'll probably be a piece of cake for you. So feel free to just, you know, skip on up levels one, two, and three and get right into level four. But if that's not you, again, I just, I cannot emphasize this point enough. Spend the time necessary learning the basics and building the basics before you get here into level four. All right. Now let's cover why double kettlebell training delivers faster results right? This is a pretty simple concept to get, okay? There's greater demand for change or overload, right? You're familiar with this concept of progressive overload, doing more and more and more work uh, every time you train. There's more overload, more demand placed on your body with a pair of kettlebells than there is with a single kettlebell, right? Pretty obvious, I think there, but, but maybe not. So let's dig a little deeper. So here's the example. You can press a 24 kilo for five sets of five in 20 minutes. That's 600 kilos of load lifted in 20 minutes. Now, chances are better than good that if that's a struggle for you, you're not going to be able to do that with a pair of 24 kilo kettlebells for five sets of five, right? So that would be double the work in the same 20 minutes. 
assuming you did that in 20 minutes, right? So, uh, but you might be able to do that. I'd say you'd probably be able to do that with a pair of 16 kilos. So let's just assume that you can do a pair of 16 kilos for five sets of five on the double press in 20 minutes, okay? That's 800 kilos of load lifted compared to 600 kilos of load lifted in the same time. 33% more load lifted or 33% more work performed. And obviously, right, since we all passed basic math here, it took me a couple tries, but you know, I got there eventually. 800 kilos is greater or a greater stressor to the body than 600 kilos. So that means you're going to have a bigger adaptive response. There's going to be a greater adaptation to the stimulus. And that means you're going to get bigger results, right? Or faster results. Again, I just want to point this out, okay? This does not diminish single kettlebell training or its transformative nature or its transformative effects on your body in any way. It's just that double kettlebell training takes the single kettlebell training to the proverbial next level, right? Does that make sense? So speaking of next level, one of the biggest mistakes I see guys, especially guys, not so much women, uh, and they make all the time is they jump straight from level three to level five programming. Okay. So they, they think that because they know the level one and two techniques that they can just jump straight into the level four workouts, bypass them and go straight to level five. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense because their assumption is, well, if I know how to do single kettlebell work, I know how to do double kettlebell work. That is not true. That will get you hurt. Okay. Why? Because even though double kettlebell training is based on single kettlebell training, the techniques for lifting a pair of kettlebells is not exactly the same. It's not identical to single kettlebell training, right? So you actually have to spend some time building off your single kettlebell technique with your double kettlebell technique, right? And <laughs> I can't tell you how many, how many guys just, they refuse to accept this. And then I get an email it goes something like this. Hey, man, I hurt my shoulder doing double kettlebell clean and press. Uh, what can I do in the meantime? Or what do you suggest I do to rehab it? Okay, well, you know, the horse is out of the barn at that point. So don't let that happen to you. Take the time to learn the nuances, which are actually a little bit more than nuances. They're, they're bigger than nuances, actually. I, I don't know what the correct word is, you know, for bigger than nuance. But... Um, Take the time to learn double kettlebell training, okay? Uh, if you want a resource, I'll put a link to a, a resource I've got called Kettlebell Strong uh, that has been helping people out for well over a decade now. Um, I'll put a link below this video. So uh, in the meantime, that's what we've got for you today on going to the next level with level four kettlebell lifting, the double kettlebell lifts, right? Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just, you know, leave a comment below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. and It was as helpful to you as I intended on making it because I enjoyed making it for you. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay strong.